Good day viewers, this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next exam still on the uh, business of uh, YEC. This time around talking about chemistry practical alternative B, the fast approaching uh, alternative B chemistry uh, YEC practical. Uh, we're looking at a titration between a child's only treat five acid and a certain carbonate labeled S2CO3. This is lecture uh, video five for quantitative analysis. For quantitative analysis, I haven't looked at, you know, uh, various uh, arrays of question talking about what should a question exactly look like uh, in the course of this exam. Of course, as you can see in the question on your screen, D is a solution of HNO3. We're given the mass concentration, 6.3 gram per dm cube. E is X2CO3. We were given the mass concentration here as 5.30 gram per dm uh, cube. You know, mass concentration uh, for both. Okay. Uh, instruction A, we were told to put D into a burette and titrate it against a 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube portion of E using methyl orange as indicator. I cannot do by emphasize it. When you put your methyl orange in the carbonate, the color is going to be yellow. And then when you titrate with your trials of nitrate 5, that's your nitric uh, acid in the burette, there is going to be a color change at the end point from yellow to lighter pink. Okay, that ends that. Uh, tabulate your burette readings and calculate the average volume of it used. You can see on your screen what our table looks like and what our average data value actually looks like. That is 24.60 cm cube. We were given the equation for the reaction to be um, exactly what we have there. It was given as 2HNO3 plus S2CO3. Uh, this is giving us... Uh, 2XNO3 and uh, plus H2O plus CO2. That's exactly what we have. So that this is two, this is one. That's exactly what we have in the uh, question there. From your results and the information provided, calculate the concentration of D in mole per dm cube. We're looking for the concentration of D in mole per dm cube. So I'm looking for Concentration of D in mole per dm cube. Now that's uh, talking about um, Roman figure one. Now in this case, I cannot use uh, CD VD over CE uh, VE equals to ND over NE. I cannot use this because I don't even know what the concentration of my carbonate of E is in mole per dm cube. So I therefore cannot unlock what the mole of D is in mole per dm cube. But this is a very direct question. Concentration in mole per dm cube is actually concentration in gram per dm cube divided by molar mass. In this regard, concentration in gram per dm cube for the nitric acid is 6.3. What is the molar mass of nitric acid you were given at the end of uh, the question? 63 gram. So 63. 6.3 divided by 63. That's going to be 0 0.100 uh, 0 mole per dm cube. You can leave it as 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. Just anyhow you want it. So this is the concentration of D in mole per dm cube. So Roman figure 2, we're told to look for concentration of E in mole per dm cube. Okay, if I'm looking for C in mole per dm cube, maybe I could say, since I know the concentration in gram per dm cube, concentration in gram per dm cube divided by molar mass. Where I know the concentration in gram per dm cube, I don't know the molar mass of S to CO3. I don't. So, I cannot use this formula here i cannot use this formula here to get the concentration of e so that means i am coming back here 
you know, I'm coming back here uh, to uh, use this. So CE, I'm looking for CE, CE in mole per DMQ is going to mean CD, VD, ME divided by uh, VE, ND. CD in this case is already 0 0.1. So CE here is going to be 0 0.1 times VD here is the average title value for my Charles and Richard 5. So that's going to be 24.60. NE is from the equation and NE talks about the number of moles of S2CO3 that is times 1 all divided by 25. That's the volume of the pipette times ND is talking about the number of moles of the uh, D of the acid here, so that is times two. If we compute this uh, from a calculator, we're going to get 0 0.049 mole per dm cube. 0 0.049 mole per dm cube. So that is the concentration, or this is here is the concentration of D mole per dm cube. This here is the concentration of. Uh, E of the carbonate in mole per dm cube. Now let's look at what we have next. Uh, the next question says we should calculate the molar mass of S2CO3. In that case, I'm going to be coming back to this formula. I'm going to be coming back to this formula. So if concentration of E in mole per dm cube equals to concentration in gram per dm cube divided by the molar mass, then it means that the molar mass equals to concentration in gram per dm cube as this is going to move here this is going to move here divided by concentration of e in mole per dm cube that's concentration of e in mole per dm cube so the molar mass is going to be 5.30 divided by 0 0.049 mole per dm cube 0 0.049 when we compute this 5.30 divided by 0 0.049, we got 108.2 gram. 0.2 gram, okay? That's still, you know, somewhat consistent. And uh, that's just that about that. And after that, we have some couple of uh, question to Roman figure four. To Roman figure four. Roman figure four states that State the effect of adding 10 cm cube of distilled water to the mixture during titration. What mixture do we have during titration first? You have your S2CO3 in here. You add one or two drops of your methyl orange. And then you run in your acid from the uh, uh, burette you know, running your acid so that there is going to be a color change from yellow uh, to uh, light pink. So, the question here for Roman figure was, take the effect of adding 10 cm cube of distilled water to the mixture during titration. Well, I can tell you that the water will not affect the end point or the concentration of either the uh, uh, D, that's talking about the acid, or the base in this case. That's talking about uh, E, or that's the carbonate. The water is not going to affect the end point, nor will it affect the concentration of D or E, uh, of the base or the acid uh, reacting. It will only increase the volume. If you add water, the water would have only increased uh, the volume. You can see that on your screen. It will only increase the volume of the O mixture that we have in the conical flat so that is the effect of adding 10 cm cube of distilled uh, water and if you look at it even during the course of the reaction water formed and it doesn't even interfere with the old uh neutralization reaction there so the water will not affect the end point or the concentration of either the base or the acid reacting it will only increase the volume of the mixture in the conical flask if you're struggling with understanding everything uh, we've laid down, talking about 
what the probable question looks like do not hesitate to send a dm on whatsapp on the number showing on your screen and you can as well check us out on our website at uh, 300 plusacademy.com very first thing you see our various whatsapp group click on any of the link uh pose your question to any of the admin on the whatsapp group and that will get sorted from myself and the entire team it's bye for now